Hi, welcome to Paranormal Captivity. I decided that I was going to kind of clarify the difference between ghosts and poltergeists today. And I've also had a lot of requests from you guys to go over a lot of different topics. So my plan right now is to kind of mix in a few of these kind of videos along with my normal videos and just whatever else happens to find its way in here. And that way I can kind of educate you guys on some different topics too and address some of the subjects that you guys want to hear about that you keep telling me all the time that you want to hear more about or hear about in general. So expect a lot of your requested videos to be coming up and if you have any other requests, put them down below. As for this really long intro, I apologize, so let's get started. The difference between ghosts and poltergeists. A ghost is an apparition of a dead person that is believed to appear or become manifest to the living, typically as a nebulous image. It's also defined as the soul of a dead person, a disembodied spirit imagined usually as a vague, shadowy, or evanescent form as wandering among or haunting living persons. The origin is somewhere before the year 900. Um, it has a Middle Eastern origin of the word goost, Old English as ghast, and German as Geist or spirit. Definition of poltergeist. A ghost or other supernatural being supposedly responsible for physical disturbances such as loud noises and objects being thrown around or destroyed. Also defined as a ghost or spirit supposed to manifest its presence by noises, knockings, etc. The origin is somewhere around the year 1840 in Germany and the word is polter, which is a noun in German that means to make noise, rattle, or knock and geist, which is ghost. Poltergeist, noisy ghost. If you're experiencing activity in your home and you're not sure how to classify it, ghost-like activity you would probably describe as a haunting. Poltergeist activity you would describe as a disturbance. So it's definitely something disrupting to your normal life. Ghosts typically are linked to specific places and locations where like gruesome activities have taken place. Poltergeists are not confined to specific locations. Usually they're associated with specific individuals or objects. Ghosts are traditionally not dangerous. Poltergeist energy can build up over time and then it can climax in an event die down for a little while, and then rebuild back up. Overall, poltergeists show their presence by moving or influencing physical objects, while ghosts simply make an appearance. I hope that this has clarified the difference for you between ghosts and poltergeists. Stick around for more of these more educational videos, and if you have any topics or subjects that you want me to cover, please tell me down below in the comments, or follow me on my social media, all the information's in my drop-down box, and tell me on any of them, because I'm Taking requests. I know a lot of people have already been sending them in before I even ask, so whatever topic you want me to address, let me know about it. I have a few of them that I'm working on right now, and I can't wait to make more videos for you about them. So, hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you're at, and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye!